What's up guys? So I finally got a chance to solder all my components um, onto the relay car and I place on my homemade uh, development board I made earlier. So now I'm going to turn it on. Um, before I turn it on let me uh, go over these components. So I have basically three relays on the shield right now and here's for the uh, um, power input for the relays. I have uh, one uh, that's rated for 12 volts and the other one for 9 volts. So the 12 volts go into the high power relay, maximum 2 amps, and the other two is the maximum of 1 amp, so I used for the low power input. Here I have the power output to these uh, he um, metal headers, so a total of 6 pins. So I can use uh, these to switch. Uh, uh, the motors uh, forward and reverse and here have the LED indicators and the transistor MOSFET transistor that is driving them here have two LEDs indicator for the RF transceiver that I will put later on uh, that can be mounted on top of this relay car so basically I can control the relay car using um, my uh, computer and then I have this uh, RF transceiver on this side. I also made an adapter for the uh, UART bridge. So let me turn on this uh, this board. So so right now uh, I just have the uh, the same program as I did earlier with the LED linking. But I'll show you guys how I can turn on the uh, relays here. So I'll, I'm going to connect to the um, logic input. So that's high, off. You can hear the sound of the relay switching. So that the blue LEDs indicate the uh, orange relay, which is the higher higher power relay. So now let me demonstrate that uh, I'm going to use this logic of uh, uh, width modulation to uh, switch the relay on off really fast. So let me connect to that pin. And here it's switching very fast and this camera is uh, barely picking up that speed. Okay, you can see it's turned on off. Okay, let's stop that. So, the next part, I will um, demonstrate how my uh, RF transceiver would work. Thanks for watching.